Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me, and today I'm going to be filming a skincare routine for you guys. A lot of you have been requesting this video lately, and I decided to film it for you guys. Just a little disclaimer, obviously my skin is not like the most perfect thing in the world, but before we get into the products I use, I just want to like kind of give you like a background story on my skin throughout the years. So when I was little, I always had skin diseases. Like if it wasn't eczema, it was folliculitis. If it wasn't folliculitis, it would have been like a wart skin disease. Like it almost felt like I had every skin disease, which obviously I didn't. I probably had like five different ones at different times, but you know, it was a lot for a little girl to handle. So my main one was eczema. I've had that my whole life. I still have it to this day a little bit. And that definitely made my self-confidence drop to like a hundred to like a zero. And even my dad said that I had baby acne when I was little. So, you know, that just goes to show you that I never really had perfect skin. Now that I'm an adult and I actually know how to take care of myself, I feel like my skin has gotten so much better. I do get a little bit of eczema here and there, like on my upper lip and just all over my body sometimes, but nowhere near what it used to be. If you knew me in fifth grade, I think that was my worst year ever and my whole face was just swollen and raw, like felt raw because I was just like, itching it and eczema was all over it. So I did have rough days, but you know, started from the bottom and we're here and I feel so good about my skin. And now I just wanna share all my great tips with you guys. All right, so the first products I'm gonna be talking about is actually face hair removal. So the first one I have is this Tweezer Man little face tweezer thing. It's really cool. It's kind of complicated to learn how to use because me and my roommate literally sat there for hours trying to figure out how to use this. But basically this thing is curved. So this flat side is supposed to go on your face. And then there's little arrows on the sides to tell you which way to turn it. So then you just take the tool and put it on your face and then rotate the knobs while you push the tool up, if that makes sense. This thing hurts like but it does keep the hair off your face for a while. There is an alternative painless tool. I know you probably have seen this before. It's just like a little face razor, an electric one. So all you have to do is turn the switch on and pretty much just shave your face with it. It's super fast, it's really painless, but it's only smooth when you feel your face going down, but not when you feel your face going up. This tool only cuts off your hair like at the base of it, while this tool tweezes your hair out of the root. So obviously this is gonna last longer. So it just depends on your pain tolerance and how long you want it to last. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I've only recently been shaving and tweezing my face and it has made the world of a difference when I put on my makeup. It just goes on more flawless and it just looks a lot more flawless when I don't have all this peach fuzz on the side of my face. So next thing I wanna talk about are masks. So this past January, I had to splurge on the Glam Glow mask. I only bought it because it came with this little one and it was the same price as just one of these. So I lucked out on getting both of these for a really good price. Now that I have this, I really don't use any other masks. And if you were and if you were deciding between both of these, I really like this one because it has some exfoliating properties in it. So when you do wash it off, you can really exfoliate with it. But this white one, I would just use for like a spot treatment. That's what I personally do. If I have like a zit here and there, I'll just put this on at night and then wash it off in the morning. So obviously these are not in my daily skincare routine, but I did want to share them with you guys because masks are a vital thing of skincare. So I don't really get zits and pimples all that much, but what I do get is whiteheads all over my nose. It is so gross, but these Biore nose strips help so much. It leaves my nose feeling so incredibly soft and you cannot even like feel the bumps and it's not as noticeable. Unfortunately, it doesn't like take every single whitehead off your nose, but it does get rid of majority of it. So when my nose is like really bad, I'll take one of these because they are kind of expensive. So I don't want to do it like on an everyday basis. So maybe I'll do it like once or twice a week. So speaking of those whiteheads on my nose, I wanted to show you guys this tool right here. It's called the pimple popper tool. So you put your pimple right in between these bars right here 
and then you scrape out the oil. You might have seen this tool on Instagram. There is an account called Dr. Pimple Popper and this doctor's job is literally to like get the pus out of pimples. Like what? I wanna get my pimples taken out by a doctor, but since I don't really wanna spend all that money, I just have this tool and it works just as well. But I will tell you guys that this tool is really addicting because right when I get a pimple, I just wanna scrape all the oil out, but you cannot do that because you're gonna get a really bad scar and it's just gonna be even worse than having a pimple. So you do have to wait a little bit just to make sure it's kind of ready to get out And then you can go in with this tool and just scrape the oil out So when I do get pimples on the first and second day, I usually try to ice them They do go down significantly, but if they don't then when they're ready to pop then I'll just use this tool So at night when I want to take off my makeup, I use my Biore charcoal pore minimizer I have been using this for maybe over two years or at least over one year I know that for a fact this was in my last skincare routine and I really like Biore products. It has beads inside of it, so it's really helpful to clean all that gunk off your face at the end of the day. So after I use the Biore product, I usually go in with this. It's the Clarisonic Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. I actually got this with my Clarisonic because I got the Deep Pore package, so it came with this product and a little face mask. I really like this product because I feel like it tightens my face after I use it. Like, it just feels so soft and it just like feels rejuvenated. So I usually go in with this and my Clarisonic after I take off all my makeup because sometimes I just don't want to get my Clarisonic brush too dirty with all my makeup. And I also use this every single morning and it makes me feel so refreshed. So sometimes after I wash my face, not all of my eye makeup is off. So then I go in with this simple cleansing micellar water. Then I go in with a round pad and take off all my excess makeup off with this. So the last product is from First Aid Beauty. So I usually use the Ultra Repair Cream, but those days when I'm gonna be out in the sun all day, I use the Ultra Repair Pure Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer. So the sunscreen one is a little bit thicker, but after you put it on, it really just feels like any moisturizer. Like you don't feel like too sticky, you don't smell like sunscreen. So I really recommend this for even an everyday use. And that's it of my skincare routine. If you guys use any of these products, or even if you use anything different, comment them down below because I'm always on the lookout for new products to try. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Boy, let me love, boy, I just know. Move us, boy, let me love, boy, watch us know.